Greetings programs and welcome to Arc Neo Builds where uh if you couldn't tell by the title already, I'm trying something considerably considerably different from anything I've done before. So, uh not only do I have this camera going, I have set up a second camera. I'm gonna do my best to uh try to make this coherent. So subject we're building today is actually the First Order Heavy Assault ATM-6. And, uh, my folks actually got me this. They were in, uh, Disneyland for their wedding anniversary. They went to the new, uh, Star Wars area and sent me this. So, we're gonna build this. So this is a Star Wars Galaxy's Edge product. Uh, claims it doesn't need any glue, tools, anything. Though I have got, uh just some cutters and uh, stuff like that just in case if I need anything else I'll go get them it is a Ravel kit I believe I've heard of this brand though I don't know I, I, I've never really done a model before this is kinda of my first time going so we'll see how this works though this is just a snap tight you know uh, basically uh, build an action figure kinda of thing uh, claims it's got lights and sounds, comes with the batteries, it's 46 parts total, uh, 15 points of articulation, um, nothing really elsewhere on the box, so, yeah, I'm gonna do my best and, uh, see if we can get this going. So, if things get, uh, quiet... <laughs> You'll, you'll know why. It means I'm trying to figure out what on earth I'm doing. Alright, so uh, right off the bat, uh, bag of parts, not sprue. Yeah, this does appear to just all be parts, not sprue, which I appreciate. That's, that's going to make this easy, which I need. No, they do not want to come out of the box. And I just realized I'm blocking the other camera, yay. We'll, we'll see if this other camera thing works out, but. We've got bags of parts. I need to shift down so you can see what's going on. And yeah, because, especially if we do end up having both uh, cameras in this video, I'm afraid to say, yes, you will get this basically unedited because I do not have the skills it takes to edit multiple multiple things together like that so um, here's the instructions black and white kind of as you'd expect most of these things tend to be and yeah it looks to just be basic uh, really straightforward steps so I'm gonna get these all out of the way I'm going to get all these parts assemble, uh, out of the bags and laid out for uh, quick grabbing, and then I will uh, resume recording. Okay, we're back, and as you can see, I've got everything laid out. Uh, I, I could already tell, yes, I'm not going to need tools of any kind doing this, so I have actually put those up. And uh, really quick, just because it's cool, I wanted to show off. Uh, the other thing they got me while they were there is uh, these chance cubes that actually did come in like a proper bag so if I want to find out if I'm going to get the boy or his mother um, <laughs> I've got chance cubes to do that now so yeah pretty cool just wanted to show these off really quick because I do collect dice if my uh, so my D&D &D videos didn't show But, we're going to go ahead and, uh, see if we can get this thing together. And I apologize if you're not going to see much. I don't even know if the whole other camera idea is going to work. We'll find out. Okay, so we're going to actually... We're even putting in a seat in this thing. That's already kind of cool does come out easily but we'll see if I don't know if that's even gonna matter because it looks like the next thing we do is snap the top of the walker on here which 
which I'm going to do very slowly and carefully. Okay, so we've got our we've got our head already. I've said I'm already really liking the uh, just detail, you know, battle wear painting they've got going on it. Um, much better <laughs> than the Transformers Siege stuff has had, I have to say. And then we're going to take the guns, and those are going to go this way up on each side. Okay. How hard are you going to make me push to do this, huh? Pretty hard. Okay, but it's in there. Gun one. Gun two. Thankfully, this is not. Uh, this does not look like it's going to take me a million years to do. Okay, set the head off to the side. Then I need this piece. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to take this piece and put this into it and then attach the other half come on go 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 together thank you I, I I, I do appreciate that uh, the stuff, even while it, it does take a pretty good squeeze, it does just fit in fairly smoothly. And we're going to take this and put it right down in there. And we're going to turn our instructions. Yay! We finally made it to page two. Okay, and then take just the top section. Snap it on there. Gonna take both of these. Sandwich them together. And that will go in this little track. Then other half on. Okay, I, I, I can do that. I think that was a lot to line up fairly blindly there. Okay, there's there's part of it lined up. <laughs> okay, there we go. Lined up, nice and uh, squeezed together there. Okay, now I need. How do you tell the difference from parts D and O? Right now, I'm not gonna lie. This is one of the times where I wish they had a R really, really. I, I wish they had like labels directly on the parts. Oh, never mind. I'm an idiot. Those are both um, parts. Oh, I just had some uh, reflection going on. So I'm gonna take them, pop these pieces in. Yes, I realize <laughs> I already did something off camera. Uh, too late to fix that. Oh well. I don't think even the side camera got it, and that's assuming you guys even get the side camera. And we're going to need foot S part Q. Um, yeah, that's going to be Q. That's going to go on this side. 
It's going to be a soft ratchet even. I like it. I like it a lot. And then this one that's going the same angle. And there we've got the foot. Really good ratchet there, I can already tell that's that's nice. And then we're gonna do the same thing in reverse. So this goes on that way. This goes on that way. Make sure I've got that all on right. I do. Okay, and then I need to take this and this, put them together, and then put piece I through them. Okay. Then this will attach Where is that it? That will attach on the back using parts double K. Okay. That was a snap and a half. <laughs> go and then same thing in reverse other side this in double K to pin it in lower one on the other way Then part T to peg it in. So, not ratchets on these, but uh, decent enough there. Can I make this work? Can I make this stand? Okay, awesome. Next page. Okay, so I need Y which is this one and then part Z goes in there and then part F gets another Z in there Okay, um, dear Lord, this next step. <laughs> okay, so I take this piece that way. That in there, and then find the other half of it and push that together. Okay. This piece in there, other half. This one in particular is going to get this piece and this piece. Yes, okay. 
this is uh, for, for there being no glue this is very clearly a uh, one and done situation so I would prefer to not goof this up royally that's going to be this leg that we did put a T through it right there Then we're going to do all that stuff in reverse for this leg. Then on there. This on here. There we go. And this on there and pop that in and this is going to pop into there now this does seem to be the one thing they got wrong um, they show me having like a mirrored version of this with the little kind of looks like a outlet plug going the other way but these are both the same so it's whatever but worth mentioning I'm sure this being at Disneyland it cost absolute top and then some dollar so I kind of would have expected them to be 100% accurate in their directions, but then again, that might be more on the model kit maker than Disney. Either way, there we go. Kind of position our legs here a little bit, because why not? And ball joint... Pop in the head. Okay. Then looks like all you do is take this, pop out the uh, battery protection, and slide it in from the front. Am I sliding this in the right way? Yes, I am. Okay, okay, I'm seeing kind of... Noisy so-and-so, aren't you? <laughs> um, okay. So I see where... There we go. And there we have it. We have the New Order AT AT or AT AT, whichever you call it. I don't remember let's see what was their exact name for this thing. ATM6 First Order Heavy Assault. Um it's 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 a super at at <laughs> and uh yeah I, I i do have to say i'm i'm quite pleased with that even though i appear to have not had that in all the way okay yeah um you kind of expected this piece to be limited anyway not gonna lie it's not like these things have a great range of head motion to begin with but and i i do appreciate that it pops out instead of just breaking. I've seen a lot of things that just break. So that's pretty cool. Does it make any sounds other than that? So what else can we get the the light part? Okay. So it just does like the one little uh sound sequence there, but no, that is uh 
that is really really awesome actually and that yeah really good range of motion on the legs there uh feet even move so um yeah i i would have to say anyone who's going to uh going to disneyland and gonna battle through the lines at uh galaxy's edge yeah this thing's pretty slick give it a give it a look so thank you guys for watching let me know what you thought of this very weird random video and i will see you next time